to you, Marlon Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we ride the summer show train back through time and memory to another year that you lived yesterday. Our destination, 1922. President Harding was in the White House, the Prince of Wales was touring the world, and radio listeners heard the first radio commercial in history over WEAS in New York City. No girl with a pair of scissors would be caught dead with long hair, and if she couldn't already play mahjong, she was learning. On Broadway, George M. Cohan produced a hit musical called Little Nellie Kelly, and if you were lucky enough to catch the show... I'm sure that even now you remember this song. It's the same old song they sing. I love you. The boys are all mad about Nellie, the daughter of Officer Kelly. And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with you. In 1922, there was a water famine in Mexico City, an earthquake in Chile, and a rebellion in Ireland. And on November 22nd, the ex-premier of Poland, one of the immortal concert pianists of all time, returned to the concert platform to give a memorable recital in New York City. was the year the distinguished French diplomat Clemenceau was touring the United States. Evangeline C. Booth was commander of the Salvation Army, and Geraldine Farrar sang her farewell to the Metropolitan Opera in Zaza. Bill Robinson and J.C. Flippin were headliners in vaudeville, and all over the country everybody was singing a hit song introduced by Willie and Eugene Howard in the passing show of 1922 at the New York Winter Garden. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Nothing could be sweeter than my sweetie when I meet him in the morning. Where the morning glories twine along the door whispering pretty Girly, when the dew is pearly, early in the morning. Butterflies all flutter up and kiss each little buttercup at dawning. If I had Aladdin's lamp for only a day, I'd make a wish and hear what I'd say. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Bye. 
go butter up and kiss his little buttercup at dawning. If I had Aladdin's lamp for only a day, I'd make a wish and here's what I'd say. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina. Well, sir, a lot of things made headlines in 1922. If you were a Montana bachelor that year, I'll guarantee you remember this little item. Hey, Charlie, you can call off the web and you don't have to go through with it. Oh, shucks, what do you mean? Didn't you see the evening papers? The Montana Supreme Court has ruled that bachelor tax law is unconstitutional. You don't have to pay tax anymore to remain single. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Eddie. The law says if a man's 21 years old and not the head of a family, Didn't he's got Didn't you hear what I said? There is no more law. We're free again. Somebody stole my gas. Somebody stole my gas. In 1922, two of the longest-running stage plays of all time opened on Broadway. Ladies Irish Rose and Rain, starring Gene Eagle. And in a new Victor Herbert operetta called Orange Blossoms, one of the great classic Herbert melodies was heard for the first time. I recall the mad delight of a lovely dance And a stroll into a night trembling with romance There he pulled me off my path How could I Back to Gordon McRae, Lucille Norman, and the summer show train trip to the year 1922. <laughs> In 1922, almost everyone in the country was raving about Al Jolson, singing Toot, Toot, Tootsie Goodbye. Although far from everyone has been able to get anywhere near the Jolson Theater to hear the original verse. Sigfield was at the height of his glory, the acknowledged great showman of Broadway. And D.W. Griffith was the great showman of Hollywood. Everyone was talking about his production of Orphans in the Storm, starring Lillian and Dorothy Kish. And at the Music Box Theater in New York... One of the great showmen of music, Mr. Irving Berlin, wrote and produced his famous music box review. And from that score came one of his greatest songs. A pretty girl is like...
like a melody that haunts you night and day, just like the strain of a haunting refrain. peculiar news events back in 1922. Just a little bit, 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 just a little bit,
1922. 28 years back into time and memory. administration to the days when Valentino was the talk of the female population in blood and sand, to the days of Harold Lloyd of Grandma's Boy, and to the era of the great George M. Cohan and one of his biggest song hits. You remind me of my mother. My mother was a lot like you. for joining us. In just a moment, I'll tell you what we have in store for you next week. In 1933, Gordon and Ravel rose to great prominence as a songwriting team with their first big hit, Did You Ever See a Dream Walking? And next week, the summer show train is going to take you on a trip to that year to relive some of its most interesting happenings and hear many of its greatest songs. Songs like Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, Easter Parade, Temptation. So folks, be sure to join us again next Monday and ride with us aboard the summer show train back to the year 1933. All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week, goodbye.